I knew I needed to put my own money into it. So a lot of the times when I was interviewing folks, I'm paying the cameraman and I'm paying folks to edit everything up myself so I can put this content out here because I'm believing in what it is that I was well, And doing. you was landing it on YouTube. Yeah. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we going to talk. I think, you know, you, you know, the one thing I can say, I was in my mind thinking, and I don't know why I thought this way, mm. I was thinking the podcast happened or you was dealing with people and it kind of drove you into the, to, you know what I mean? It sounded like COVID just COVID, drove it, it, into yeah, it. I was it all up I, at the same time, too, because at the radio station, you know, I had been recording a lot of my interviews at the radio that's station. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, I had been doing that the whole time. But then but was you putting it on your YouTube we, channel or was you putting it on there? Was well, it I was always, because I was shooting everything myself. I had my own, same way you got your setup in here. You had I had your my own, own setup, setup coming okay. up there because I was shooting at like 10 o'clock at night. Oh, so you so were it was like nobody was even there to even shoot or do my stuff for That's me anyway right. while I was there. So I was like, let me go ahead. I knew in order for me to be successful and do what I needed to do, I was going to have to take matters into my own hands right. yeah. and invest into my own career. You didn't have to depend on nobody else but you. Exactly. But also, you got to think about it. So you have a job as a radio personality mm -hmm. and the resources that I needed to go where my vision was taking me as a personality I knew I needed to put my own money into it. So a lot of the times when I was interviewing folks, I'm paying the cameraman and I'm paying folks to edit everything up myself so I can put this content out here because I'm believing in what it is that I well, was And doing. you was landing it on YouTube. Yeah. But was That's there that smart. conflict, though, with um, the radio station and then you doing your own thing at their radio station? Well, with it being the social media, it was just like any other social media. So mm -hmm. it's like if you're on Instagram and you take a picture of yourself at a radio at a station, station. At, on Instagram, then it's a social media. So it's like with your social medias, you can't really control anybody's social media. Mm -hmm. You can control, you know, flat out business being handled but as far as social media is concerned a but, lot of times mm -hmm. no because i was thinking because you had a show on the radio station for them right oh yeah and then you're having your own show for yourself exactly so to me i'm like it's the same thing but you're doing it for so that's where i'm thinking the conflict would go it's not like you're just taking a picture and putting it on social media but you're doing the same thing you're doing on the show for them you're doing it also for yourself but it's late if night. you have a employee, but you're using their spot if you have an employee that's working for you and they don't have the resources to execute the job. Well, really, you don't, you're not even paying them to do that job. Mm. You're okay. paying them to do a specific job. Right. But they decide to go over and beyond for themselves and the company to and the company. market and promote what's going on. I don't think you're going to stop them from doing that. I tell people all the time Got because it. of the the world that we live in today, a lot of the radio personalities is personal friends of mine, and mm -hmm. I'll be like, "Bro, there's no reason why you shouldn't have a brand." And I don't know if I'm being, I'm like, I don't know if they, I don't know what stops them. I don't know that same thing you're doing. Mm -hmm. I have spoke to different guys and be like, "Man, it's a world out here. It's a world out here that that basically you got to think about." that's pretty much open and access for you on social media and on these platforms where you can have content and mm -hmm. be successful and still do that. But I don't know how hard that is. You got to have it in you, bro. Well, for me, what happened was when COVID hit the radio station, we couldn't bring guests into the station no more. Mm. So okay. that's when I had to create high time media. Okay. okay. Got it. So got it was it. like, okay, COVID is here. So now it's time for me to, I have to keep this party going. So that's when I went and purchased my situation where I'm at. Well, I've been shooting for the, like the last four years. So then now I'm working, doing my own business. But what I would do, I would take the content that I was creating in my business and I was bringing that back to the radio station. Oh, okay. okay. So in one it. hand, watch the other. Yeah. You yeah. 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 So, yeah. Like, you I want, so now I'm paying uh, for a full office production team editing crew <laughs> doing what I need to do for Be High TV and then after I finish recording that interview I say okay I got a show on Hot 107.9 I'm going to run some of my interview on Hot 107.9 as well they, still, they love you over there still <laughs> I love them. It was the greatest <laughs> job of all time. That's what I'm saying. They it was the you. greatest job of all time. If it wasn't for COVID, well, 
you know, I battle between both of them. Being a professor, I love that just, I love that probably a little bit more than radio because I love mm. to talk and teach at the same right. time. Right, and you're helping people. Exactly, and you're helping folks and you get to see folks discover shit about themselves that they didn't even know they, they had know. in them. Or you get a chance to give a nigga some direction that they didn't even know that they needed and then when they implemented, they like, hey man, I didn't even know that it worked like this, appreciate you, I'm off to the races. Yeah. So, being at Hot 107.9 and growing up in there, man, I had the time of my damn life working over there with some of the best people that you will ever come across in radio. I was in there with legends, some of the folks that just really put it down for the town. So I was able to absorb all of the information that they was giving me along the way wow. and then implement the education that I had been getting as well. Because after I finished at Clark, I went and got another degree in uh, strategic communication with Troy and a full sale degree for uh, creative writing and stuff like that. And all of that information I implement into the YouTube right now to this day. It was not a case of when you got some education and you couldn't apply this shit. It was like, no, nah, we're gonna apply this stuff in real time uh -huh. and we're gonna show folks how to do this thing and share the information where we could. And then I take that same information and I was teaching that at the school at wow. the same time too so that the uh, kids could get their stuff up and running yeah. and go out there and crank it That's up at mean. the same time. But the whole thing is, it's about finding ways to create pathways for yourself and others that ain't hurting nobody. Man. Okay, you see what I'm saying? That's I wasn't you. trying to hurt nobody. I was just trying to make it do what it was supposed to do in a seamless way when using the path of least resistance. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.